Thank you for considering service learning. The purpose of this presentation is to orient you to a successful service learning experience. So what is service learning? Service learning is a type of active learning that supports uh, course objectives in your class. So service learning is not volunteerism, community, or internships, but rather it's the focus on your experience and the reflection of that experience. So what does EPC service learning program do exactly? When we facilitate placement of students with agencies, we document and track your service. We provide service learning reports to your instructor. And lastly, we're always looking for those new connections, the ones that will benefit you, the college, and local organizations. The EPCC Service Learning Program connects with course goals and objectives, but more importantly, it provides an opportunity for internal and external self-exploration and provides recognition for that time that you have served. So we hope that the outcomes will meet new skill acquisition, that you will learn networking skills and how to interact on a professional level, and that you'll have a real life connection to some of the concepts that you've learned in your courses, and that you will have this fellowship with your students and with your instructors. Let's get started. So what are the steps to participate in service learning? Step one. Download the service learning application and timesheet files, and this can be found at our website. Number two, save the application and timesheet files onto your computer or cloud drive. Three, reopen these files in Adobe Acrobat and use a virtual pen to complete the form. We're going to ask you please don't forget your student ID number so that we can track you within the banner system. Then resave the completed files. The next step is to select a nonprofit organization from our modified agency list, which you can also find at our website. So you have three options. One is 100% remote engagement. Two is a hybrid, that is a combination of remote and hands-on experience. And lastly, 100% face-to-face engagement. We recommend that you discuss this with your instructor and with your family. In the end, liability is with the student. So what are some examples? 100% remote engagement is maybe storytelling to uh, primary school age children over the net or preparing videos for an organization. An example of a hybrid would be preparing care packages um, for, for the military or some organization or maybe food baskets during Thanksgiving and the Christmas holidays. And lastly, for face-to-face, -face, um, maybe it's having that medical experience, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, if you are interested in a medical career. So now you're almost ready to submit your application, which is typically due by week four of the semester. Okay, now before you submit your application, you'll have to get a consent from the partner agency that you have selected. They'll need to sign your application and you can call them on the phone and email them your application so that they can sign it. At that time, you can talk to them and look at what kind of activities and schedule that you'll have for this upcoming semester. Once you're done, you're going to email the file or picture the file to your instructor and to Irene Pettis at the Service Learning Program. And we're going to ask if you could please include your complete mailing address. Then after that, you're going to be responsible and commit to at least a minimum of 20 hours of service. Then you're going to turn in your timesheet just like you did your application. You're going to turn it in by the drop date. And again, Try to include your complete home address so that we can email you a certificate or mail it to you. At the end, your instructor will receive notification of your completed service. 
We hope that the experience will be real and unforgettable and that you will have an increased awareness and understanding of El Paso and that lastly you will develop this lifelong responsibility to civic engagement. Now I'm sure that you might have some questions and information that you want to ask of us. Please contact us. We look forward to hearing from you and thank you for listening to this presentation.